Welcome back guys. Today we're going to tackle another problem and that is having all your cordless drills and everything just spread among your desk like this. As you can see here I have four machines and three chargers. Then you can say yeah but get one on the same machine and one on the same charger and I would if I can afford it but currently I'm not sponsored like everyone else is. So basically my Bosch machines is something that I have bought a long time ago and those Makitas are a little bit newer. Those two use the same charger but those two doesn't. Today is the day we will sort this mess out and get ourselves proper holders and put them on the wall or in a storage so we can use them. So I have decided that this is where I want to have my charges in this end here. My table saw here will be I will be building something around it to keep the dust in and I'm going to use this type of extension with a button inside of it and that will be perfectly fine for shutting on and off the charges. Quick test fit to make sure that every charger that I got is actually fitting on the wall where I want them. Same goes with the actual cord or extension part. I'm using normal strips or steel strips that you screw into the play wall. And those will hold all the tools and accessories very very nicely. As you can see it's one for each tool holder or charger. And then I just arrange the cords. Next charger in place, the same goes here as well. I could have built this out of wood itself, but those steel strips make it so simple to work with. My 3D printer is running in the background as you can hear of course. Quick test fit to make sure that the batteries still go into place because the strips are kind of in the way. Cleaning up some to get closer to it and to make sure that I can reach the cables when mounting them. As I'm cleaning. And if you haven't seen already, check out my video where I built those rollable shelves for my tools. Working with electricity, you need to know what you're doing, and if you're not sure, always talk to your electrician. As you can see, I'm doing this in the dark because I have pulled the fuses. Making sure that the cable that goes out is actually attached to the wall. And they still sit very nicely. And on off works of course. So guys, as you can see we all have everything up now. And that's really, really wonderful. Three charging stations ready for duty. Next thing I need to do is build the holder for the drills itself. And my plan is actually to have them up here hanging. I start with some wood that I had left over. Marking out where every tool should go roughly. Using cardboard for the template to the holes or where they are going to hang. Quick test fit to make sure that they suits or fits as I want. The same goes with the big piece, make sure that I have room enough there. Transferring it to the board. Then it's just a matter of actually cutting out the holes.
Now I need to decide on height because I need some spacer for this to sit on. And I'm also going back and just make sure that I have room for everything that are on the drill itself. And you have the reversion gear sticking out a little bit, so I'm actually cutting that out slightly. And this will basically just make it a lot easier to hang them and have them hanging correctly. Cutting out the pieces that will be the part between this board and the shelf itself. And yes, my kids have earplugs or ear cover for the ears. Adding some glue on top of it before screwing it down. And the screws are merely there to hold it until the glue actually dried up. All the pieces that I've used here is scrap pieces that I have in a box laying around. So I'm trying to reuse so as much as possible and generally you can use a lot of it that you have. Just making sure that I have a little bit more room for the smallest screwdriver. It didn't fit perfectly fine so... But now it does. Removing the boxes so I can get to it and screw the shelf in place. Marking out where the first screw is. And then start to screw it down. I did include this one because I don't know if I'm going to move it later on. And a nice test fit. And the boxes goes back again. So guys, the station is now finished. I have my chargers here, all three of them. I have this simple switchboard where I can switch things on and off. And I really like that. Because when I leave, I can just pull this off and walk and it should be fine. It's important that when you shut this off, you remove the batteries or otherwise they may get discharged. I have place here for four of my screwdrivers and even some more place if I am adding a fifth or sixth screwdriver as well. I can even use this for other things. My plan is to do more shelf underneath here but first I need to prepare and get some kind of protection cover around this saw because otherwise all the dust will fly everywhere. This dust collection will also be connected to my new system for actually collecting everything. But that's a future video. And I want to thank you for watching and hopefully you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to click the links down below. Also don't forget the be little bell icon so you get notified when new videos is up. If you want to support my work, you have links to Patreon, PayPal and all other stuff as well. If you have suggestions on what you want me to see to build, feel free to add that into a comment. And if you just want to say hello, add that as well. And I see you next time. Bye.